Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Spring is on the way and it's time to give my porch the makeover it deserves so it can be serving up all of the spring vibes. Today I'm cleaning, pressure washing, painting, planting flowers, mulching, and of course decorating. So get yourself a cup of tea and hang out while I transform my front porch with vintage floral spring vibes on a budget. Welcome to my front porch. It's currently a little embarrassing. Honestly, y'all, these are my Christmas trees and it's March. I know I sometimes look like I have it all together, but I can assure you that I do not, and here is your proof. Time for the front porch to get a facelift, just in time for spring. To begin, we're taking everything off the porch and we're gonna pressure wash. Nothing gives me spring cleaning vibes quite like pressure washing. It's one of my favorite tasks and it's literally so satisfying. I will link our pressure washer down below. It works well and it's not super pricey. It's honestly one of the better investments I've ever made for my house because pressure washing makes such a difference. And y'all should be proud of me. I actually wore shoes to pressure wash today, mostly because I knew people would yell at me on the internet if I didn't. <laughs> If you're new here, my name is Keely. I'm 30 years old and my middle name is really rainbow. I make YouTube videos about home decor, holidays, DIYs, and motherhood, and I like to keep it real because honestly, I'm somewhere between Pinterest mom and Hot Mess Express. I live in North Carolina. I have two daughters who are five and nine, and I'm married to my husband, Tim, who works in the oil field, which means he's hardly ever here. I'm your new mom friend who will encourage you, give you life hacks to be the mom you wanna be, and I will never judge you because there are days when I count down the minutes until bedtime and some nights we have cereal for dinner. So let's be friends. I would love to have you subscribe. I put up videos every week here on YouTube and I also post a lot on TikTok and Instagram. If y'all saw my last makeover video, you know that I've been talking about how obsessed with black doors I've been lately. Our front door is actually already black, but it had this white trim and it just got so dirty and we haven't painted it since we moved in and it just really needed, it just really needed it, okay? It occurred to me that I could actually just paint the whole thing black, so that's what I did. It took two coats of this Glidden paint in the color Onyx Black from Walmart, and it's the same one I painted my interior doors with in my bedroom makeover, actually. I already had it on hand, and so I figured, why not? new to my channel or wondering what's coming next, now is my chance to convince you to stay and subscribe and turn on your notifications. I've got tons of fun spring content coming up soon. Everything from Easter decor to spring cleaning. Although I will say I much prefer spring decorating to spring cleaning, but I'm still going to do both this year. Also, we're doing a room makeover for Callie soon and even some fun spring break content because we're going on vacation. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on anything. So this is after two coats and I think it looks really good. Let me back up and I can show you guys like the full. It just looks so clean I feel like and nice. 
it's time to take the paint off, or the tape off and see how it looks. It turned out really good. There's actually probably been several coats of paint on this door, so it really needed a fresh coat. You could see like so many spots where it was like, it used to be yellow at one time. So ready for spring. I hate any time it's cold after Christmas. Like once January hits, I'm ready for it to go back to being warm outside. But I usually still have to suffer through actual winter, you know, in January and February before it finally gets a little bit better in March. And then of course we have pollen season in North Carolina, but oh well, at least it's warm sometimes. Usually we actually get hot, cold, sunny, rainy all in one day to tell you the truth, but I don't know. That's North Carolina, I guess. What is spring like where you live? Is it spring yet there? Up, we have some plants to repot. I have these lily turf plants, otherwise known as liriope or monkey grass. I got them last year to put next to my doors because they were really inexpensive and I was balling on a budget. Like the shrubs and stuff that go next to your door are usually really expensive and these were literally a fraction of the price. And they've handled life well considering I kind of ignored them through the winter and they're still alive so I appreciate that but they deserve a new home. So I bought them these white little homes from Walmart. I also have some small yellow snapdragons to go on the porch as well. These were also relatively inexpensive from Walmart and I feel like the yellow fits the vibe I'm going for. this area next to the door is like so awkward. When we moved in, they had it bricked in and it looked even weirder. So we took up all the brick and put down mulch, but it's just like a strange little flower bed and I never know what to put here. So we planted small azalea bushes when we first moved in, but it needs more. So here we are. It also needed to be cleaned up though first because last year we mulched it with the black mulch, but that got covered by the endless pine straw and leaves that fall down in the winter because North Carolina. So I started by picking up as much of it as I could and then I even used the leaf blower to help me out. I got some plants at Lowe's to put here in hopes that they'll grow and fill in a little bit in this weird garden bed. The green ones are lamb's ear, I believe. They're a little fuzzy and so soft. And the little white flowers are called candy tuft. They were all relatively inexpensive and are said to grow well in our zone. So let's hope that they live their best life with me. Plants always look so sad when you first plant them, like, and so small, you know, but I'm going to make sure to be nice to them. So maybe they'll grow big and strong and, you know, kind of spread out and take up some space. The lamb's ear plants were $7 each from Lowe's and the candy tuff was only like $3 or $4 each.
inside the garage, I put some Carolina Jasmine, or what I grew up calling honeysuckle, but apparently it's not the same thing. News to me, I'm still learning about plants and everything, but they smell super good and apparently they grow really quickly. So I got them this little trellis to grow on and I think that they're gonna look really pretty here. These were $8 each at a local garden shop that we have here in town and I love them. up the mulch this is the dirty part of the job y'all four bags of mulch for this area I love the look of black mulch especially when the grass turns green and it, I just I don't know I feel like it just looks so nice but I do not have the drive to do my entire yard all over again only for the pine straw to fall down again and have it get messed up so I'm just gonna do this little area with the black and then I'm gonna do the rest pine straw even though I hate pine straw but whatever uh, the black mulch runs out four dollars a bag at Lowe's and I didn't need very much for this little spot When it comes to makeovers, I always try to shop on a budget the best I can. I try to shop secondhand, I reuse things I already have in my house, and generally I just buy the least expensive options. I try to share where I get things and how much they are as we go, so you can do the same. I love to change out my decor with the season, so I don't want to spend a ton on it, especially if it's going to be outside like in the elements, I just feel like it's a waste. this huge stone pineapple that Tim's grandma got for me for Christmas a few years ago and I'm gonna move it over here not gonna lie y'all this is super heavy and I've been working out a lot but I probably should have asked my husband to help me move it but I am a strong independent woman who is also very very stubborn so I make it happen and I actually use one of the kids skateboards to move it across the yard but I call that genius okay Okay, so I wanted to show you guys some of the decorations that I have to go on the porch before I start putting them out. We're going with a bee theme, which I think is really cute. It's actually kind of like Bridgerton inspired, to tell you guys the truth. Um, if you've read the series and watched the show, you know that bees are like really um, pivotal part of the whole thing. So I wanted it to be sort of like a vintage bee theme and not like a cutesy bee theme. So this is a pillow from Walmart and I don't like this side 
because that's a little too cutesy for me. We're gonna display this side because I like that. I have this rug to go under my mat. I've got this little bee. He came from Walmart also. Walmart has a whole little bee line of decorations. Um, then I've got these flowers. These are from Hobby Lobby. These greenery, also from Hobby Lobby. Um, I got this from the Target Dollar Spot. It's just like a little teapot, but it's like a beehive. And then I have these. These are little napkin rings, but they went perfectly with the vibe. So I got these, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but they're really cute. And then I got these from Dollar Tree. Little bees. I got this guy. He just like goes on the side of a plant, but he's like a little bee from Hobby Lobby. I have this sign that I've got to find a way to stay up to finally get to stay up. And then I've got some garland that's like yellow and white. And then I have these, which are little planters that I'm gonna plant some flowers in and hang up. I'll try to link anything that I can down below, but it's kind of hard. The Walmart stuff I can probably link, but the Hobby Lobby stuff, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's the decor. That's the vibe we're going for. And to give you guys a little tour of what I accomplished on day one, here's the um, mulch that's down. I planted my flowers. These are called like candy tuft or something. I don't really know. I'll, I'll link them down below. I've got to look up the name. And also for these, I don't know the name of them either. I've got to look that up. But these are azaleas. I do know that. And then this is like honeysuckle, I guess, is what I would call it. But I think it's called like jasmine something or other. That's from like our local farm store. And then I got all these from Lowe's. And then I have my pineapple here. Mostly I got the pineapple and put it here because the kids like to cut across here. And I was like, no, I don't want you guys doing that because it messes up the mulch and then they're gonna like step on the flowers and whatever. So that's, that's what happened there. <laughs> that's why that's there. But I do like the pineapple. You know, you guys know I like pineapples. And then we've got the door all finished and I've still got my little bistro set up there, which I think I'm gonna keep, but I'm just gonna decorate it. Then I have my husband who's also here. Mm -hmm. This was mulched black last year, like this whole flower bed. But as you can see, like this is a pine tree and so that did not work out. So I think I'm just going to use pine straw like everyone else, which is what I should have done in the first place. But everyone else around here, cause they're in North Carolina, land of the pines or whatever. Pine straw is their flower bed. So I think the only one I'm gonna keep black mulch is this one. And then I'm gonna pine straw the rest of them. It's just easier maintenance to be honest with you guys. Next up, I'm going to pot the little planters. I got these two potted yesterday, but I have these to go in the planter, so I'm gonna pot those. And then I've got another one of these to go in one of these. I just spray painted these with um, a gold spray paint to kind of have them go with the vibe. And so I'm gonna pot those now. So let's do that. As I mentioned somewhere earlier in this video, I've been reading Bridgerton and of course waiting patiently to binge Bridgerton season two on Netflix. If you're looking for a really cute romantic spring book series to read, I 100% suggest the Bridgerton series. It's a pretty feel good series and nothing too deep or stressful, which is what we need in the world right now. And it's always set in London in the spring and you'll be wishing you were a Regency debutante as soon as you open it, I promise. So just go read it if you're looking for something, it's a good one. I know people are gonna wanna know, and I forgot to tell you guys on the first one, and I'm gonna have to go back and figure it out. But the purple flowers are petunias, and I pick those because they kinda like drape down, you know, after a while, like after they grow. And they were 388 
for like this many at Lowe's and 388 for this many and that filled up all of these. These, they're all kind of dirty right now because my hands are dirty, but um, these are Goldilocks Creeping Jennies. They are an annual. That's what these are. And then these are fake. <laughs> but I really liked the like look of these and it's kind of like a way to add in something before your plants start growing to just use like fake ones. So these were from Hobby Lobby and they were on sale when I got them. So they were like 250 cause you know, they were like half off or whatever. Now I got to hang them on the walls. favorite part of DIYs and makeovers is by far the part where I finally get to decorate and see my vision come to life. I always think it's going to look one way in my head and when I see it in person and it actually turns out nice, it makes me so happy. Like I said, I wanted like a Regency spring garden vintage vibe so I thought a small garland of flowers and like yellow roses would be perfect to fill in with my bistro table and the bees. I don't know. I just thought it would look nice together and it did. Go me. I've been obsessing over vintage florals and spring garden vibes lately, so that's what I was going for, and you'll have to let me know if you think I succeeded. For the wreath, I used this gold hoop, a floral garland, and a bunch of floral wire to make a simple flowery sort of wreath with this cute gold bee from Target. It took a lot of like messing with and stuff, but I didn't want it to look super put together. I kind of wanted it to look kind of like voluptuous and messy and, and just like, like the flowers were just like hanging down. So that's how it turned out, which I like, but I probably could have used some more floral wire if I wanted it to look a little cleaner, but I really like how it turned out. And the bee, I feel like is just like chef's kiss. Like it just looks so good. So I am finished and I love how it turned out. I'm finally feeling happy when I walk through my front door and I'm finally not cringing when people come to my front door. I love the spring vibe, the vintage vibes and all the flowers. I wanna thank y'all so much for watching and spending your time with me today. If you redecorate your front porch, please tag me so I can see. And if no one's told you today, I want you to know you're doing a really great job, okay? I'll see you guys next time. Bye.